What's up everybody, I'm Cam. We're here in the Vexo studio and today we're gonna to be talking about Sub 250's brand new Whoop, the Nimble 65. And if everything's going right, you should be seeing this on the day that it releases. So Sub250 was kind enough to supply us with the Nimble 65, a 65 millimeter whoop. I just wanna talk a little bit about Sub250, the company. They're really cool because they've been innovating in the space of sub 250 gram drones. And if you're looking to get yourself a Sub250 drone, check out sub250.com and let me know what you got. It's the year 2024, and someone finally decided to put their drones in a really cool package. This little viewing window is just makes it so much cooler to work with. You can put your drone up, have it protected from dirt, and then have it set up on a shelf showing off what you've got as almost like it's a collector's item. Really like how they've packaged everything here. Presentation definitely matters. Inside, we've got the drone right here, nice and teal. But one of the neat things that they've done with the packaging here is include a couple of extra giblets. We're gonna have our extra propellers, our screwdrivers, and our prop removal tool. Now, this is pretty standard for most drones at this point in time. However, one thing that's pretty neat that Sub250 did was not only did they include two prop removal tools, but they made sure to choose one that's pretty heavy duty. In the past, I've worked with some prop removal tools that are really, really flexible and kind of flimsy. This right here will have no problems getting underneath and allowing you to remove the propeller so that way you can service and maintain your drone. We're gonna go ahead and get into the details of the Nimble 65 here. As you can see here, it is a tiny whoop. It's got the ducts that go around here. This is a 65 millimeter frame, meaning that from this motor point to this motor point is 65 millimeters. It has four 31 millimeter propellers, three bladed, and these come from HQ. Now, these are powered by these 702 27,000 kV motors, and that is getting its power from a 300 ma sub 250 battery that has a 75C discharge. This power is then routed through an A30 connector that is going to be providing power to the all-in-one flight controller, which is powered by an F7 processor, as well as a integrated ELRS receiver, so it's running it as an SPI, meaning that you're not gonna be able to upgrade it, but it's good to go right now. It works perfectly well with our transmitter. And you can see that the Cadex Ant, which is located up here in the front, is on an adjustable camera mount. So you can run it really high and have really intense flying angles, or as a beginner, you can run it down low so you can have nice and slow, steady flying. This drone also has plugs that allow the motors to be swapped out very easily. They're not soldered directly to the board, so while that will add a little bit of weight, if you ever do need to replace a motor, it should be a lot simpler for a beginner. You can see that there's a nice simple whip antenna sticking out the back of the canopy here, which, speaking of the canopy, is a little heavier than some of the performance-driven designs, but it provides a lot more protection for the flight controller and the camera. So while you're sacrificing a little bit of weight and performance, you're getting a lot more in terms of durability. So that way, as a beginner, you're gonna be crashing a lot. You're gonna to need to be able to have a drone that's gonna take a crash or two. And that's all the main details about this drone that people are gonna care about, knowing that it's gonna get you somewhere in the ballpark of three minutes, three and a half minutes of flight time if you are very gentle on the throttle. That's enough on the details. I think it's time for us to take this drone out and go fly it. We've got ourselves a 300 mAh battery here from Sub250. We're gonna go ahead and put it in the Nimble 65 here and take it out for its first flights. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and fly this for the first time here. Uh, I'm gonna take it nice and slow. I'm arming right now, so the aircraft is armed. Now, this drone, again, it's a great beginner's whoop, and I have the camera angle down nice and low on the adjustable camera mount and that's allowing me to fly just nice and slow. I'm not really trying to go for any impressive times here, just cruising. And it's really all you wanna do as a beginner is focus on staying in the air for as long as you can. And what's cool about this drone is that you can get like close to three minutes of flight time, and if you're good with it, you can not crash the entire time. 
But as you can see here, I'm having to avoid all the little obstacles here that want to take me out. But because I'm flying nice and slow, I can be more or less controllable. And this is pretty easy. Compared to some of the older whoops that I've flown, this drone definitely stands out as a beginner as it has good performance. And at the same time with its close to three minute flight time, it's pretty good for a newbie who's just looking to stay in the air, have a nice precise flight feel to it and be able to just stay in the air and focus on the fundamentals of being a pilot. I like the way that this thing is handling. It's a little snappy. I think we're gonna dial things back in beta flight in a little bit, but for a beginner drone, it's fantastic. Again, it's got this canopy, so when you ever, whenever you end up crashing, this is gonna protect all the components at the sacrifice of a little bit of weight. But again, as a beginner, you're gonna be crashing a whole lot more. So having that extra protection to cover your flight controller here in the middle along with the camera is what you're gonna want just in case of the unforeseen. Seems like we're in a bit of a tiny whoop renaissance nowadays new drones are coming out all the time and sub 250 over here has released a really good tiny whoop really good 65 mil sub 250 has paired us with some really nice looking frames and some really nice colors so that way it can be customized it can be made and be personalized having all that is going to allow this hobby to have more people who are going to be excited to fly drones and experience what tiny whoops have to offer and I think for that reason alone, I can recommend the Nimble 65 as your first drone. And not only for beginners, but for intermediate pilots as well. Anyway, thank you so much for watching our video. This is Cam signing off. I uh, appreciate you watching the video and please like, comment, and subscribe. If you decide to pick yourself up a Sub 250 drone, tell me about it in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.